name's Dave. I'm from Decarcerate PA. We're, um, we're a campaign of uh, roughly more than 80 organizations. Um, and we're trying to stop all the new prison construction in Pennsylvania. So, um, and, you know, like the, Pens like, the prison population in Pennsylvania has grown from, like, roughly around 5,000 in, in 1980 and balloon to over well over 50,000 now and um, and it's still growing and part of part of this whole thing is this whole new prison construction um, situation you know so so recently um, they started building three prisons two of them right outside of right outside of Philadelphia near um, on the grounds of Greaterford PA and um, we, we recently did an action to try to stop construction um, one of the days and a bunch of us got arrested. Um, but I think this extends to the Philly jails as well. You know, they're talking about, about overcrowding in all these places and that's why they need to, to build these new jails. But, you know, we know as a fact that they're continually increasing the prison population and building, building all the infrastructure they need to make that happen. Um, and we need to stop them. So we need to stop them from, from continually building more infrastructure to imprison more and more people who are mostly targeted by poverty and lack of resources in, in our neighborhoods. And so we've been organizing around three main principles. Um, the first one is no new prisons. We want them to stop right. building all, stop all new prison construction, all new prison expansion, you know, so that includes, it's like roughly 13 projects of state prisons around Pennsylvania, um, you know, but that, that really should be extended to, to the jails. They talk about overcrowding in the jails, um, and what we really need to do is fight, fight the, the increase in the That's prison right. population and That's the jail right. population, period. Right. Um, right. So that brings us to our second point that we're organizing around, which is which is decarceration. So we want to shrink the prison population as much as possible. You know, I, I think I think I think the really good first step for any legislator or any state to focus on is is as a first step bring us back to a 1980s prison population. You know, where we had where you know like there was already a huge prison population but it was a tenth less than a tenth of what it is now so you know part of that is part of doing that is you know like to to repeal some of the hard on crime legislation that targets poor communities in Philadelphia and Pennsylvania in general um, part of that is like is like getting all the people who I mean just a real you know like easy easy thing to just implement right now is to is to get all these people who are who are eligible eligible for a release on parole out now right. you know like they've all, all been right. tied up they're doing way more years than they should be doing right. inside right. and um, you know and in the jails we have a friend you know we have a friend our friend Michelle's been locked up for for nine months waiting for court dates that keep getting bumped and She's in there with a ton of other people who are not, they're not convicted of anything. They're not, you know, they're not doing time for any kind of crime. They're waiting for all these bureaucratic wheels to turn and they're basically forgotten and warehoused in this, in these spaces here, you know. I mean, she's, she's, she's at Riverside, but like all these places like House of Corrections, PIC, CFCF are full of, full of people in the same situation. Um, and a third point that we're organizing around is reinvestment in our communities, and that includes, you know, they're spending they're spending millions and millions and millions. I mean, I think I think the prison budget, you know, is is expected to go over two billion dollars. I think this this coming budget, which is insane. That's all. That's all. Like. Um, those are all resources that are being stolen from our, our communities, you know, like that are keeping people in poverty. Those are, you know, those are resources that could be putting people through college, could be employing people, could be helping house people. Um, and so, yeah, that's basically, you know, what we're doing, what we're trying to do. So, 
Yeah, free them up.